someone's opinion about you does not have to become your reality. Every no and every rejections that came to my life had made me who I am. When you believe in a dream and when you can see it, visualize it, it can become reality. And the same organization which rejected me invited me to become the trainer there. My name is Sahla Parveen. I am the author of the book, The Beauty of Purpose in Life. When I was a little girl, I was as beautiful as any other little girl, but I never believed so. I had dyslexia. I used to hate books, words. I used to see M as N, N as W. But everyone used to think I was lazy to learn. I struggled throughout my teenage, but somehow managed as a below average student to an average student. When I was in 11th, one day I went to my library. Every day we have, every week we have library hour. And I got one book in my hand, the name which I couldn't read. The book was Alchemist. I started reading somehow read the first page and I felt like it is speaking about dream. And I was a girl of dreams. I lived in an imagination world. That was the first book I issued from the library with a heart to read. I took it home. Next three days, I sat with it, though I couldn't understand so many words, but I completed the book. And I got the message that when you believe in a dream and when you can see it, visualize it, it can become reality. My thought process started shifting by then. Within the next three years, books became my best friends. I started reading everything about mind, heart, love, religion, everything that I felt to read. Then I came to Cochin to pursue my MBA in Fizad Business School. The real transformation happened when I attended one session, mind mastery session for two days. And when I went for that session, I realized every thought process I think that believe, love, meditation, visualization, there are a lot of people who believe in it and they can come to reality. It is me who have to change first to make the transformation. When I went to the session, I was so excited. I came back to my college. I went to my dean and I was speaking so excitingly about the topic. And I asked him, can I just share this with the friends in the college, just one hour? And he's like, yeah, sure. You take a session for your juniors tomorrow. I was so happy. Went back to my hostel, prepared a slides of 20 slides. And next day, I am going to the class to take the session. And on the veranda, one of my teacher asked, Sahla, you are going to take a class? And I'm like, yeah, miss, yeah, just a, a class about mind. And she's like, do you think you're going to pass for your first time exam? And that's like, uh, that's, that's when I started getting my first heartbeat. Yeah, why am I going to take a class? But still somehow I managed to reach the class of my juniors and I found 65 students looking at me like this and I was getting a very big heart, heartbeat and I was like, why did I come here? And I'm like, okay, let me start. And I opened each slide and I was explaining each and every slide. And when I was almost reached the 19th slide, I looked at the time and I found it was just 15 minutes past and I have 45 minutes left. And that's when I just closed my eye, took a deep breath and started to speak from my heart. I somehow managed to complete the, the 45 minutes and I'm like, this is the last session I'm going to ever take in my life. And when I was going out of the class, students started clapping and coming behind me and saying, yeah, you are right. I was not confident about me. What you said, the point was right. And that's where I started feeling wonderful, a feeling that I have never got in my life. They posted about my session in my uh, FB profile. I didn't have a page then. And watching this, another friend of mine invited me to their college to do the session. And I constantly started doing the sessions. That's how my career began. There was a national level organization who were starting their coaching office and they were looking for trainers. I went for their interview 
and I attended their interview very confidently. At the end of the interview, the inter interviewer told me, your performance is good, Sahla, but no one is going to listen to a 23-year-old girl. You have to take sessions to people who are double your age and experience. And I was like, yeah, that's true. I'm too young to start doing sessions. I felt very bad, sad, depressed. I went home. And then a few days afterwards, when I was listening to a speech of Les Brown, there gets a quoting, you are never too young to start teaching or never too old to stop learning. And there starts my journey again. Every no and every rejections that came to my life had made me who I am. If I got the first job then, I wouldn't have started my organization. But all of us, what we do is, when we listen to a no, we stop there. Someone's opinion about you does not have to become your reality. When someone tells you, you have to become that, this, that, this, why should we listen? Listen to your heart. Listen to yourself. It's okay to fail. And by, by then I started doing again sessions and there was a TV interview about me. They tagged me as the youngest mind power trainer, which went on very viral. And the same organization which rejected me, invited me to become the trainer there. And by then, as I had made a profile, I partnered with them and started doing entrepreneurial programs in Cochin. By next year, I gave birth to my own organization, Give and Grow Global Foundation. Now, in the whole journey, it's not going to be easy. And people started asking me, how did you do it? And that's how I started writing The Beauty of Purpose in Life. In between, I started doing small video logs of four minutes and posting in my FB profile. And the first video log went to 1.5 lakh viewers in a day. And I started getting messages. Within fifth video, I had put a video named how can you learn English in three steps, which went 1.5 million in a day. So it's all about knowing the need and giving. And I will tell you something. Success is not about how much money you make, where you stand, what is the position, or are you famous. Success is all about can you really smile from your heart. When you think about whatever you have done in your life, do you feel good about it? Everyone are going behind a rat race. And life is full of choice. And I'll tell you, this journey was not easy. It was difficult. There were a lot of stops. There were a lot of no's. But it was okay. I started believing in myself. I started loving myself. Let me tell you, don't make friends because you feel lonely. Make friends because you have so much of love and enthusiasm to give. Don't marry because you are lonely. Marry because you have so much love and care to share. We seek love. We ask others to love us. It's not possible unless and until you radiate it from within. And I will tell you, we have such a beautiful power within us to give, to share, when I speak with this energy, I can feel there is an energy that is coming to you. I wanted to begin, become an architect so that I can make beautiful buildings. I draw very well. But now I am an architect. I make beautiful feelings in people's heart. I make people smile. I, 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 I help them to see what is unique in them, what is special in them. I give them faith. And let me say you, this is not something that I have done, that it is just coming out of me and I have put a goal and came. I had just made my heart open so that I can receive the message from the ultimate energy. You can call any, you can call any name as God. And I'm just spreading it. I'm just being a beautiful source. And each one of you just be open. Just feel what is within you. Go forward. Everyone are going to tease you till you reach a position. 
and when you reach a position everyone are going to tell you i told you right you were the best <laughs> and when you fall down they are going to tell to you i told you right don't go so much this this is life and it's okay we are taught to be like that we are always taught to be like that and just watch on your feelings if you have a serious feeling to tease others it is lack of your confidence if you are able to find at least one good in every person you meet every situation that is how the goodness in you grow what seed you sow in your heart and your mind it keeps growing if you sow the seed of jealousy you feel jealous if you sow the uh, seed of anger you become anger and if you sow the seed of love you just radiate love and make the best in your life so i say each one of you go forward listen to your heart it's okay to make mistake it's okay to fall down believe in yourself there is a power within you there is someone watching you who wants you to be the best and love and give the best to the world thank you tell us what you think about this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe